Hi everyone. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add in gray value as well as play around with changing that gray value into color. But the, f the reason why we're exploring um, adding a midtone gray value um, is to begin to create our illustration into a three value image. So the white that we're gonna leave here um, and of course that's gonna be different depending on all your illustrations but the white that we leave will be a highlight and the gray that we add in will be a midtone and then the black that we have here will be a shadow and some of you may even decide that you want to add more areas of black um, so it's really up to you. Um, because my image is kind of fun and light, um, I probably am not going to have very much black and if anything I'm going to change a lot of my black areas into color. So I'm just going to have fun exploring. But the first step before we even think about color is just adding in gray. So let's just start doing that. Now I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to call it mid value. And you can see I already have a mid value, but I just want to show you how to do this. I'm going to lock that. So on my mid value layer, I'm calling it mid value because that's where I'm going to put my gray. Um, I'm going to go back to the blob brush. And I've selected this gray over here and I found it under swatches. So if you go to swatches, you should be able to, to look at some colors that are listed here. Um, yeah, but basically, yeah, wow. There's, there's a lot to explore here. I don't even know what that is. But I'm just exploring swatches to look at my gray values. Um, and because my, you know, like I mentioned, my image is very light. I'm going to stick with a really light gray. So I'm actually going to sort of, there's white. It's like whitish gray. I don't even think it's pure white. And then we have a really light gray and I'm just going to this third one over. Okay, and you can go to the fourth one too, but I feel like these are pretty dark. I'm going to recommend just sticking with a light one, but this is really just to begin to see some depth in your illustration, okay? And all of this is gonna change later. Um, so I'm gonna zoom in. And what I did was I actually had looked at some cucumber pictures, um, just to like look at the texture of cucumber. I was like, hmm, how can I draw the cucumber? And I noticed that some had bumps and some had sort of these lines on them. But I, but I realized that a straight line wasn't really gonna work. Like I needed to do a bit of a wiggle line. And granted, I could play around with that further. Um, like maybe I wanna do a line that is kinda like this. Um, Oh, something to do here. Make sure it's on multiply. I already had the settings set and I didn't go over that, but under transparency, which are those two circles, like once you're selected on your blob brush tool, right, you've got your light gray, um, go to this, go under transparency, and the mode will probably be set to normal as that's the default and just go to multiply. And what this does is that it just allows what you're drawing to be underneath whatever you already have existing. Okay, so I'm just gonna work on this over here. Now, of course, if you've just been playing around with Illustrator, you know that there's ways to copy what you have. So for example, I did that wiggle and I'm like, oh, I kinda like that. I just wanna repeat that in my other cucumbers. So I could select it and press copy, command C, command V, and literally copy it and like add that wiggle over here. 
So if you're doing something that's repeated, a pattern, you don't have to draw the entire thing. You can literally just press Command C, Command V. Make sure you're on the selection tool when you do that, okay? But that is a way that we can work with that. Um, so anyhow, add in your gray. Think about where shadows are gonna fall in your illustration. Um, as I've been drawing for a long time, I, I think I'm always thinking about light source. Uh, for this particular illustration, I mean, obviously, it's very much like a cartoon, right? So it isn't going to be purely realistic at all. But, you know, you do want to have an idea of where is your light coming from. So I'm going to hide this layer just so you can see what I did earlier. And you can see over here that it's a little messier. I, I, might, I might play around with this. I mean... I think when I put some light green in here, I might actually make it look really good and I could clean it up too with my eraser. Um, so I have to unlock the layer in order to use the eraser. Um, changing the eraser size. And I mean, granted, I am definitely somebody who who really um, doesn't mind things going out of the lines too much, but you can decide the style that's gonna work for you. Okay, what is the style that's gonna work for you? Like, I really don't like that line over there. So, I mean, use the eraser to fix some things up if you would like, if you wanna clean things up. But there is something to be said about things going out of the line, like almost looking more like a print. Um, you can go back in. Okay, so spend some time getting that done. Now, basically, once you have finished adding your gray and you're happy with it, I'm gonna add just a bit of shadow underneath. Um, then I would like you to take a screenshot. Um, I don't know if any of you noticed, but my cucumbers and my drawing were much further apart, or sorry, were much closer together. And what I did was I made them much, much further um, because I was like, ooh, I should show social distancing, <laughs> which I thought was kind of funny. I was like, they shouldn't be too close together right now. So just kind of playing around with what's here, um, adding little dots of gray. And you know, like I could even add some more dots because now with the snowflakes, people are gonna understand that is snow. So I could add some embellishments here. Kind of cute, give it like a little more texture. But please keep in mind, you guys, that this is just your draft still. So changes that you want to make can be made, okay? You, you are not committed to anything that you have here. It's like you are just getting to try things out to see if you like them. Um, but yeah, please don't worry about um, feeling like, oh, if I put these dots down, this is what I have to use, okay? Um, so let's see, I've got shadows under each of the cucumbers, just a little bit on the bottom. Okay, but that's essentially it. So when you're happy with your gray, what I would like you to do is to take a screenshot of your page, okay? Um, 
So I'm going to press Command Shift 4 to take my screenshot. And this is, oh, that didn't work very well. Um, yes, there we go. Okay, I'm going to take a proper screenshot of my grayscale. So I can keep that as one of my drafts, okay? And the next step is gonna be playing around with color. But now we have an idea of what it looks like as a three value illustration. So we have white, we have black, we have gray. Okay, thank you.